Welcome everyone to the start of my tips and tricks series for Stardew Valley. This series is either for beginners who want to get to know the ins and outs of the game or seasoned experts who really want to get to know the perfect way to play. And in knowing this I will say one thing, Stardew Valley is best played and enjoyed when you play it in your own way at your own pace. There are no time limits or constraints, just have fun. So now on to the video. Part 1 will focus on the tips for your very first day on the farm. So apart from grabbing those sweet sweet parsnip seeds, the first thing you'll want to do and start getting used to doing is watching TV in the game. The TV has three channels, the weather channel which tells you the next day's weather, the fortune teller channel which tells you how lucky or unlucky you'll be for the day, or the informational channel which includes living off the land and queen of sauce. They provide you with seasonal information and kitchen recipes respectively. So. I'd start getting used to watching it every day. So you have 15 parsnip seeds, that's great, but you also have 500 gold in your pocket. So at this point, I head over to Piers, which is the local shop in town. Here you can browse his spring collection and familiarise yourself with the store. So with that 500 gold, I like to purchase 25 more parsnip seeds. They are quick to grow and you'll get a fast early return giving you that nice gold injection you need at the start of the game. While you're at Piers, give yourself a second to look outside. You'll find a calendar with all events happening that season highlighted. So you can see every birthday, which is a prime time to give that person something they love. And you can also see festivals, which are unique and fun events, so make sure you remember to go. Next to the calendar is the Help Wanted board. Here you'll find any requests made by the villagers that you can choose to do. Try and check this every day. So, you've planted your seeds and you've been busy clearing the farm, but wait, your inventory's full. It's at this point you'll want to craft a chest. Just head into your crafting menu and make one. Don't worry about dropping things, for now, to make room. You can pick it up after you've placed your chest. Now, the real tip here is to not throw anything away that's use you don't yet know. Put it in a chest until that you know you don't need it. Keep everything. My last tip for day one in Stardew is to start looking through the trash. Yeah, you heard me, the trash. A wide variety of things can be found in these cans, from cookies to gold to, well, trash. Make sure you do this discreetly though, the townsfolk don't like people snooping through their things, and you'll lose some friendship points if they catch you. That's it for part one of Tips and Tricks. Be sure to subscribe for more, and thank you very much for watching.